Tzul Lena, Fredache, The Sims. And when last we left off, Samuel got a goldfish called Mozart, and everything is going A-OK -okay for him. Unfortunately, the same can't be said for Dave, who only has 710 simoleons to his name. You may think that's quite a lot of money, and it would be if Dave's primary source of food wasn't pizza, which costs 40 simoleons for every single order. Factor in all the food he has to buy for Dog, and also the bills, and before you know it, 710 simoleons have vanished in the blink of an eye. But I have a cunning plan to get him promoted in the entertainment career that he switched into, and it involves moving these newspapers and leaflets into the bedroom, so that they're not clogging up the front lawn and lowering the room stat. Normally I'd have to go and clear that up to improve the room stat, but we're just going to uh, watch television instead. And with the increasing comfort and fun that that provides, maybe we'll get just a good enough mood that we have a chance of being promoted. It's not guaranteed, but we might as well, you're not watching television. You're actually just deciding that you're going to eat some food instead. I really need you to improve that fun stat as quickly as you possibly can. In fact, you might want to just go and watch television for a little bit longer. The car will wait, it's okay. Just a little longer. A little longer, Dave. You can push the limit of how long that guy's gonna wait. I think that's good enough. Time to go to work really quickly. Yes, and indeed, he ran this time round. He ran because otherwise he'd have missed the carpool and missed his first day of work, which would have been really bad indeed. Now the question is, did this pay off? Has Dave been promoted? There is only one way to find out, and that is to wait for just a little while longer. If he's lucky, he'll get into the next level of the career. And the answer is, yes he did. The plan worked flawlessly. Apart from the fact that all the rubbish is now in the bedroom, as opposed to being on the front lawn. You've been promoted to extra. Your atmosphere, living scenery. The pay is pitiful, but at least you're on the set. No lines though, and central casting can call for you on the day shift or the night shift, depending on the production needs. They never call for you on the night shift as far as I know. Make sure you develop your charisma skills so that when that speaking part does come through, you'll be ready. It's 9 till 3, and he brought a bonus of 300 simoleons home with him, and the 100 that he was paid before. That is a really, really important thing, because now he has enough money to enact a few things that will make his life that little bit easier. One of which I really should have been done, uh, doing before, rather dunning before I was about to say there. And hello dog, dog is just going to say hi, after dog has licked himself. Hello, how are you? It's brilliant to see you. We got promoted, Dave says. Having no idea who we is. Maybe he presumes dog is also part of the promotion. I'm sure dog was involved in one way or another. You are indeed a very good dog. We are not going to be rubbed by a cat. We're going to go and get rid of all this rubbish, and then I imagine we're going to have to go and fix the shower, unfortunately. Because the shower indeed is a little bit broken. And by a little bit broken, I mean very broken. And also, you left the television on for a very long time. By the way, the bin is still over there. In fact, I'm going to go move this tree, just to see if the tree is what's causing that uh, problem. Also, one problem with having um, all the animals in the road sometimes is potentially... Hello, Aristotle. How are you? You are not quite how I remember the pictures of you. After all, you are a cat. But um, sometimes the stray animals can uh, block the carpool car from leaving, which does cause a little bit of an issue, because the car will end up being stuck there, potentially forever. We're going to turn off the television, and then we're going to repair the shower. We could not repair the shower, but there is always the chance that water will pool absolutely everywhere if we don't. This will consume quite a bit of energy from uh, Dave, but it's definitely worth doing. And then we want to go and uh, fill the bowl. I have no idea what Dog's doing right now, just sort of howling randomly at the wall. Well, I suppose as long as it keeps Dog entertained. This is going to take quite a while for Dave to do, as Dave is not very mechanically minded. And there we go. I think it's now done at long last. Let's uh, have a look, shall we? Is it done? The answer is, no, apparently it's not. 
Well, you're going to go and fill that bowl, and then you're going to go to sleep, because you really, really need sleep. There we go, just quickly do that. There we go. 15 simoleons, and then you're going to go and get some much-needed shut-eye. In fact, getting a better bed might be a very... I think that's El Bandito, isn't it? Is it El Bandito? No! We have no idea who was the one that caused that, uh, sudden sound of impending doom! Ah oh well, impending doom has been averted, and you dream of cars, Dave. You're never going to get a car in this game anyway, unless you put in some uh, external uh, item that's cosmetic that looks like a car. And they're very ex and dog is up and is just going to urinate right there. We might want to get something to deal with that. Uh, apparently, there's something you can get that um, will will be an item that the dog will urinate on, as opposed to just urinating all by the bathtub. But we can deal with that later, I suppose. For now, you need some much needed sleep, Dave. Much needed sleep indeed. I think it's time for you to get up now. Yep, I think you need to get up. I know it's a little too early for you, Dave, but you need to start rising early and make sure everything is um ready for when you go to work. For a start, you're going to have to clean up all of the mess that Dog has made, unfortunately. I know you're hungry, but you're going to have to deal with this first, I'm afraid. It's going to take you a little while. Also, you're walking in this without shoes on, Dave. Ugh. That is not hygienic whatsoever. But you're going to have a shower in a little bit anyway. You're also now going to have to water the plants to make sure that they don't, uh, they don't die. And there is a small puddle of uh, urine right there. And there's also one there, too. Oh, there's one all the way over there. You know what? You can go and deal with that one later. Deal with uh, watering the plants first. I know you're hungry. I know. But you're going to be cooking something very soon indeed. For some reason you're... Oh, well done! Well done! You brought the paper to me. That's really good. And I don't think I can praise you for that right now. We could play with you. But at the moment, we really need to prepare some food. Let's have some breakfast, shall we? And the main problem with having breakfast rather than ordering a pizza is that we have no cooking skill whatsoever. Let's hope this doesn't go horribly wrong, eh, Dave? It is five o'clock in the morning, the perfect time to prepare breakfast after all. And you're just going to um, cut that up there. I don't know how you managed to cut, to cut up the, um, the milk carton there. It's like, yes, cut this up and make sort of slices of milk. Hopefully you're just not going to burn everything down, though. That would be a bad start to the day, considering how hungry you are. There we go. Are you going to burn everything? You've managed well without... Aha! You did not burn everything! Success! Massive success, in that the whole house isn't currently a blazing inferno. There we go. It's not the best food, but it will do for now. You really need to go and uh, use the toilet. Also, that did not improve your um, hunger that much whatsoever. We're going to have to take a shower without repairing it, aren't we? Yes, indeed. We. Oh, wow. You ran to the toilet there. You were really desperate to use the toilet. Things are not going very well for Dave, are they? But I'm sure things will turn around. We need to get two uh, points of charisma skill to get a chance of being promoted as an extra. We'll have to do that when we get back home, and uh, after we've socialized with Dog a little bit, because our social stat is a little bit low. There we go. And now you're going to go and uh, have a shower, and I think we really need to buy something. We probably need to go and buy a sink here at some point, because you don't go to that sink whatsoever. In fact, I don't think that sink has ever been used whatsoever, apart from, uh, apart from the occasional washing of dishes. We could go and improve our um, fun stat for a little bit after this. I think that's probably a good idea. You're having a really long shower. A really long shower. And while it has that sound, it hasn't really done anything, because for some reason this room is so small that uh, the amount of water that spills on the um, tiles is uh, non-existent. You have a tiny bit of time to watch cartoons, Dave, before the start of the day. And by the start of the day, I mean you've been up for quite a long time already. But hey, you're having a fun time watching cartoons, which is all that matters. And it will improve your uh, mood rating, but we don't really need a uh, huge mood rating at the moment, mainly because there is zero chance that we're going to get a promotion. 
You just get comfortable, Dave. It's not like the car is going to turn up any second now. Any second at all. Also, we're going to ignore that and we're going to keep watching television for a while. We're going to live life dangerously. There we go. Wait until this is as high as it could possibly go, which is pretty much now, and now we're going to go to work. There we go. And you can take a leisurely walk, because he's not going to go without you. There we go. And off we go to work. There is a new paper and a new uh, one of those little leaflets there. And what is Dog up to? Dog is currently asleep, which is fine. Dog will probably wake up soon after we get home. 150 simoleons are indeed ours now, which is good because we need all the money we can get. And we also probably want to go and repair the... Um, we also want to turn off the television, of course, but we finally want to go and repair the shower at some point. You're just going to stand there and consider where your life currently is, aren't you, Dave? After your dog comes and says hello. This is always a nice thing indeed. Hello, dog! How are you? Dave went to work today and got no promotion, which really does buck the trend on how he goes to work these days. But the promotion certainly did help. Hello, dog! This also works to uh, keep their um, friendship quite good, because every time you do that, the uh, relationship thing goes up a tiny bit more, which is always nice. And uh, Dog likes Dave a lot more than Dave likes Dog, but that will slowly change over time. There we go. Actually, everything's rather okay for Dog. Uh, the same can't be said for Dave, unfortunately, who's very hungry indeed. We also want to get a... Um, we definitely want to go and get a uh, bookshelf at some point and learn a few levels of cooking, just to make sure that um, he doesn't burn the house down when he starts uh, cutting down on his pizza intake, because he's going to have to. He definitely has to if he's going to be able to uh, survive on the wage that he currently has. Where are you, dog? We would like to have a conversation with you. And we're going to praise you for urinating over there, because why not? Alright. Well done, dog. To be fair, you are urinating by the thing that's meant to keep you clean, but hey, well done. Well done. Well done. Alright. Now what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to play with you. Because we need to improve our social. And I think Dog could also do with an improvement in the uh, social. There we go. Dog, why are you running all the way over there? We want to play with you. There we go. Marvellous. It won't take uh, much of this to uh, improve uh, Dave's social to a very high number. As dogs are... Ri we do not want to give a random stray a bath. We could do that but there's really no reason to. All right, we could actually also uh, teach Dog to sit and stay, which uh, I think improves Dog's um, obedience, but we're not going to be doing that right now. Right now, we're not going to be entering uh, Dog into any kind of... Uh, let's praise Dog. Why not? Let's pray. Actually, uh, Dave just thought, you know what, actually, no, I'm just going to go and eat something. But no, we're just going to keep uh, playing with our dog right now. There we go. It's always fun to have a pet, Dave would tell you. Dave would also tell you that pizza is very fun as well, so take what Dave says sometimes with a small pinch of salt that is scattered on pizza. A few more interactions, and I think Dave will be fine. Dog is certainly fine. Dog is having the time of his life. He is uh, very, very happy indeed. I think one more for um, the social improvement, and then we might want to go and try and fix the shower again. Because we need that shower to be in tip-top condition if we're going to be doing anything. Also, there is meant to be a... Uh, there's meant to be something that we can use to... Um, there's a fire hydrant. Why don't we put that somewhere over here so that potentially... Um, I, have, I have been told that the fire hydrant will uh, will be used instead of a um, the floor to um, for the dog to urinate on, but that might not be entirely true, but we could put it here. I mean, it's also very um, aesthetic. It doesn't provide any room, but it's not a bad thing to buy, and it's not very expensive either. And hey, if it does work, it does work. Also, the shower is very nearly fixed, and I think it actually is fixed. There we go! One shower, now good as new. And I really think we need to go and water these plants before everything goes horribly wrong with them. The plants are over here, Dave. There we go. I do think it's actually used, because uh, Dog is looking very curiously at it. 
There we go. We want to uh, get rid of all of these so that we just uh, cycle through every single one of these plants. There we go. Much better. Are you going to go all the way around and deal with the other ones? I think you are. There you go. And that is you being very thorough indeed. It's very much worth doing this in the long run if the uh, plants end up flowering because I do think they provide quite a bit of room. And we want to most certainly recycle that paper at some point by moving it all the way over here. We don't want it to be all the way over there so that he walks over to where the uh, all of a dog urine is and then moves to the bin. There we go. You don't have much uh, energy left, unfortunately. We could actually do with you um, getting a better... I don't actually think the uh, hydrant is working whatsoever. It is being used, but it's not being used by Dog, who seems to like urinating over there. Ah oh, well, it's still an item that's uh, quite nice indeed. I... Oh no wait, it can be used by... Um, it can be used by the... Um, the dogs, but uh, Dog use that instead, because that appears to be where Dog chooses to urinate. We could actually move some things around, that might be a good idea. If we move the hydrant over here, and the bath to over here, just by turning it round, that might be better in the long run. There we go, not bad at all. We need to wait for energy to go up, it's going to take a little while. Also, you're just too used to uh, urinating over there. We might want to get rid of this, actually. We haven't really used that whatsoever, and having this here might be better in the long run. I think a dog's hygiene's actually managed to stay rather high, despite everything. So maybe getting that item wasn't very useful whatsoever. I'm looking at uh, dog stats here and thinking, ah, Dave is fine. No, no, Dave is not fine whatsoever. Something has also uh, got flies in. I think it's probably the shower and the toilet, but we don't have time to deal with that. Right now, we need to get some food for Dave, and hope that everything doesn't burn down. And we also need to fill up... Um, actually, let's uh, do that after we filled up um, the food bowl for Dog, because Dog's hunger is uh, far more important and a lot easier to deal with. I know, you're very hungry, Dave. But I'm sure things will be absolutely fine once we make some food. Dog is absolute- oh no, the carpool is arriving in a solitary hour. We may not have time to really prepare this food whatsoever, but I'm sure you'll be fine. We can just have you very quickly use the toilet, and then you can rush over to work. Don't burn the house down. You did not burn the house down. That is absolutely brilliant. You're gonna have to be quick though. You're gonna have to be very quick indeed. And you didn't flush from last time, Dave. That is not good whatsoever. All right, we're gonna just ignore that for the moment because you really, really need to pee. There we go, now you have peed, you may go to work. You smell rather bad, but you're going to go to work anyway. And we're just gonna leave Dog to do what Dog does. I wonder where Dog is going to urinate. Dog is sort of just going to walk around and uh, go to sleep, which is fine because Dog is very, very tired. All the other dogs seem fine about using the, um, Welcome home, Dave. You brought home 150 simoleons. And you really, really need a shower. You also need to learn a few skills so that you get a chance of being promoted. And of course, because you've arrived home from work, Dog is going to say hello. Hello, Dog. Dave is back and has brought even more money home. Things are already looking up, and all it took was one promotion where we sort of moved things around to make sure that it happened. Good things indeed. Hello. Ah, how are you? Ah, you're going to bring the bills, aren't you? You're here to ruin everything, carry the mail carrier. What an apt name indeed for you, carry the mail. Well, we're going to go and take this uh, bill here. It's always a bill, after all. Now let's have a look and see uh, how much it's going to be this time around. The answer is it's going to be a 233 bill, which actually is okay because I think we're very slightly, uh, yeah, I think we're very slightly in the green thanks to that promotion that we had. There we go, everything is fine. What we want to do now is we want to practice our speech, which will improve our charisma skill. We can deal with uh, other things later, like dealing with our um, fun and comfort and hygiene. There we go. 
what he's going to do is he's going to go and talk to a mirror. Because, you know, he doesn't have anyone to actually talk to, this is the only way that Dave can improve his social. Well, rather his, um, well, in the long run, he'll be improving his social by talking, but he'll be improving his charisma by talking to a mirror, while surrounded by flies. There are some problems in Dave's house, I'm not going to lie. We're going to have to deal with them at some point. But for now, let's go and get those skill points that he needs to get a promotion. Irresistible. Dave has got one charisma skill point. One more than his brother. Also, he's probably going to need to sleep very soon. What are you doing? You're playing with... I think you're playing with the flies right now. You need to practice your speech. Uh-uh. Oh, uh he's not going to do that because he's not happy. I'm too depressed to even look at myself. Well, I'm sure we can deal with that by you having a very quick shower, Dave. There we go. One shower, and then you'll be able to practice your speech again because that will improve one of your needs substantially. At least I hope it will. What are you... Are you still playing with the flies? I think you might be playing with the flies. Also, uh, has this improved your mood? It's improved it a little, not a huge amount. You're not going to do that still, are you? Nope, I don't think he is. We might have to deal with... Oh, wow, it's actually gone down into the red. We're definitely going to need to sleep. He's too depressed to even look at himself, but that's okay. Also, that's the dog that I tended to get um, when I made Sims um, before. That, one, that kind of dog. Not called Cher. Cher is too busy uh, chasing uh, his tail. But, or maybe her tail. Who knows? But when we come back, folks, Dave is dreaming about mountains. Maybe he wants to go to a mountain. But indeed, he has a mountain to climb if he's going to uh, get into a good situation. Because while he may have a lot of money at the moment, well, a lot more than he did before, he really is struggling improving his various need bars and getting enough charisma to gain another promotion. So I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. For when we come back, more work to get things tip-top for Dave. Right after we go and check on how Samuel's doing, which likely is going to be very well indeed. Because things tend to go very well for Samuel, as opposed to Dave where everything is a struggle. And hey, he hasn't ordered pizza for a whole video. That has to be some kind of record. Dag dag.